In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how you can modify the voice of a person by using the Voice Changer tool. This is found in PowerDirector 365. I would not use this in normal editing, but if you want to do something fun or whimsical, it might have a place. So let's look and see what we can do. I have on track number one an interview clip, and let's go back to the first frame and we'll play a, a little bit of the audio. Uh, of course, there are Cub games, Sox games, lots of exciting things to do in Chicago. It's a great Okay, he is extolling the virtues of Chicago, and let's see what we can do if we modify the voice of the person who's talking using Voice Changer. So I'm going to click on the clip and click on the Edit button above the timeline. Then I want to go into my Audio section at the top, and I'm going to do AI Voice Changer. Now, the first time you click on this, it will take a time to load the resources. Once it's loaded, you'll see a panel like this on the left side. Now, it has a lot of descriptions on it and a lot of different pictures showing you something about who or what might replace the voice. Now, we have several different ways in which you can filter this list. You can choose by type. You have all, or you can choose human voice or effect. Let's limit it to human voice to start with. Then language, you can pick between English, French, Japanese, and Chinese. Since this is originally in English, I'm going to stick with that. Then gender, you can pick male or female. I'll click with male. And then age, you can select child, teenager, adult, or elder. For fun, let's check child. Now, if I want to clear all of the assortments, I click clear all and I have everything left. Right now it's on none. Let's click on Carson. And it says rendering for preview at the bottom of the preview screen. And it's attempting to render. Uh, and it's also a good place for jobs too, because there are plenty of, you know, wherever field you're in, uh, there are plenty of opportunities for internships and for jobs. And we. Okay, so that's a male voice. Let's try it. Let's clear them all. We'll go back to male. And I'll keep my language with English. And let's try a different age bracket. Let's try adult. And under adult, we have more to select from. Let's click on Isaac. It will render below the previous screen. Success in placing students. I, I mean, at least I can speak for myself as a mathematician. We've had success in placing people in various positions, whether it's teaching or mathematics. That is an example of a slight change exciting things to do in Chicago. It's a great city. Uh, and it's also a good place. Now, if you want to hear the original, all you have to do is click on the none option. And we're back to the original. Jobs too, because there are plenty of, you know, whatever field you're in, uh, there are plenty of opportunities for internships and for jobs. And we've had success in placing students. Now you notice what it also does is it impacts the background noise in this particular clip. Let's try another one. Let's try an older adult. And we have four to pick from. Let's try Don. I, I mean, at least I can speak for myself as a mathematician. We've had success in placing people in various positions, whether it's teaching or mathematics. So you have all these variations that you can use for voices. But there are other options, too. I'll clear it all. We'll change our type to effect. And then the effect, we have these thumbnails. One would be a robot. We have three different robots. Let's click on, let's move our playhead above and click on this one. Exciting things to do in Chicago. It's a great city. Uh, and it's also a good place for jobs too, because there are plenty of- If you want a voice with heavy reverb, here's another one. In whatever field you're in, uh, there are plenty of opportunities for internships and for jobs. And we've had success in placing students. I, I mean, I you can use an old radio. Or you could use even an animal like a chipmunk or a duck. We could also go back and change the gender of the individual. Let's go to female. And then we also have age categories. Let's try a teenager. We have four options here. Too, because there are plenty of, you know, whatever field you're in, uh, there are plenty of opportunities for internships and for jobs. And we've had success in placing students. 
Uh, I, I mean, at least I can speak for myself as a mathematician. We've had. So you can do something that's very different or absolutely crazy in using this tool. Now, if you want to apply it, to, you click on the apply button at the bottom. And what it will do is it will take the audio and video and split it. And you'll see in the lower clip, you'll see the audio track with the new voice applied. You can do further audio editing if you so choose. And this does not impact the original. And you can go ahead and... Uh, of course, there are Cub games, Sox games. Modify it any way you want. I don't know, frankly, where I would use this particular tool, but it is available. And if you want to do something slightly amusing, I could see doing this for a birthday party or something like that, a roast with someone. You could use this tool to do something very creative and very unique in CyberLink PowerDirector with a voice changer.